Hi everybody, we're staring the laundry face here. Um, we're going back to the leather bats. We got a few things from the uh, the month of April. Now, if I don't have the movie itself on here, I will put that on the list and see what it costs and we can go from there. So. Just going over some things here real quick, and then we, we can get on it. <clears throat> I had a video earlier today, it's, it's just now uploading. It's taking, well, not forever, but it's getting there. So, we are in the letter box. So, welcome back to the Master of Movies, Presswood, and the DVD Collector. So, we're in the month of April. So let's go and see what we can find. Here. Going to be over here. We have five star and a heart and a like of a lot of monsters. I seen it once with um Fred Savage and Harry McDowell. Very good movie. I enjoy when it is. I like this step book. So it's a pretty good, decent movie. It's one of my fast run movies. So we give it a five star and a like and a heart. There's special monsters under Fred's um, bed that come alive. They don't really come out during the day, but they do come out at night. So that is a pretty good, decent movie. We got Sean Jean Claude Van Damme. And kickboxer. I really enjoy this film. And we got it for let's see. I like and a heart in a five star. This is nineteen eighty nine. 
Little Monsters is also 1989. So, Gateboxer was a pretty good, decent movie. The brother helped brother to brother to in this boxing movie. This is actually what it looks like right here. This is the desk art. So I I saw this straight through. I thought it was a nice movie for me. So I got two great Starbucks to watch. Little Monsters with Harry McGill and Fred Savage and Sean Claude Van Damme. Great two amazing movies. We got poor things from Richard Free movie. I'll try for the scenes because um this is the highly recommend from everybody. Top notch of Emma Stone. And Mark Ruffalo and William Defoe. Christopher Abbott, Rami, Yusuf, I don't know what the other one is, but very great cast. I enjoy it where it is. Do not share this with, with your kids. And like I said, this is not for kids. You have to be 18 and older. I like how it is. It's a recent free movie. It's not B locked, which I don't really use that kind of movie. Only in A movie. It's only in blue or blue right now. So as for this cast, and highly reminded from the Oscars. We gave poor things for I like, heart, and five star. So I enjoy the movie itself. What we do, do not show this to kids whatsoever. And I'm speaking as the pros and us from the subscribers on YouTube, please. Try not to, and there's a lot of language. Next, we got when evil looks. We do not give it five stars. We got it as in a like and a heart. I need to watch it. I mean, I thought I watched it the first time, but I guess I dosed off when I first watched it on my first time watching it. I think it's time to go ahead and watch for me. I know it's the saddest, the meanest, the scariest movie that, of all movies that I have in the collection. I'm going to try my best to watch. This is a fresh Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to try my best to actually watch it. It's also IFC Films, which I have. It's a show release. 100 minutes. Not rated. Language is in Spanish. But that's okay. We don't speak Spanish in this family of mine. I want to try my best to actually do watch the film. Right. So when the evil looks, we got a life and a heart, no stars. I know it's kind of my favorite, but I'm going to try it anyway. Okay. My first video is almost done uploading. So 
so let's get back to April, please. Okay, we don't have Noah, and we do not have Salt Barn. I'll just go ahead and give them a like from Angry Men. I like Five Star and Heart. Cindy Lomet. I'm trying to see, this is, um, yeah, this is Celia Lumet, yeah, 1957, directed. So, yeah, we got 4K King, Ken's in here, I don't know who else watched this. Dell. So, yeah. So, this is um, like five star in a heart. I would definitely go ahead and try to watch this again to revisit the movie itself by Criterion. Blu ray edition. I need some four Ks in this so we can see which ones in the four K format. It's black and white. The ratio is 1.66.1. It's also a 96 minutes film. I do watch a lot of black and white in my days. It doesn't have nothing in here except the chapters inside. I'm going to try my best to actually watch it. I'm saving up the movies in my letter box next to me. So that way I, I know what the month that's up next. Rocky 4 or 5, I think I have a night in a step work. I get that I like. So here is the booklet of the traffic argument. Next we got scene two. It's definitely a like hot and five star. I've been watching this for like Disney movies for family and fun and kids. It's good for adults too. If you want to see any animation, if you don't want to see any horror films. I don't mind it. It's cute and it's fun. I can relate to the music. I hope I get seen one as soon as possible. It is one of the best any minute picture film feature of all. So it's like Blu-ray DVD itself. So I will love to have this in the collection. It's the like two mini movies. So that is definitely worth a to read check that movie. So, so far, we're doing pretty good so far with this movie. I'm having fun with this little box. I have over, I forgot how many I have. But it is growing like crazy, which I do hope it will do for the next year or so. And yes, I'm still going on still book hunt for the other ones. My other stamp book is coming Thursday. The Meg Limited Edition from Walmart. 
We also have um, Lisa Frankenstein. I need to go ahead and revisit. I give it a like, a heart, and five star because that's what everyone's picking out these days. Please go to the first video and please try to understand my inner feelings with everyone's movies. This is from the 80s. We have Cole Sprouse from The Sacred Life of the Second Cody. We got Robbie Williams' daughter in here, Kathleen Newton. Yeah, Woman Eddie is in a movie, um, Cloud 6.2. That was plastic, does stick. If you notice, it's a silver disc with a pink liner on it. So, yeah, I would definitely go back and rewatch, revisit. I got tons of focus features movies, films, in the collection. The last one we got is The Diary of the, the Ruby Kid. I didn't get a like, but I did get a heart and a five star. I enjoy this. I got a complete series. And I also got a set of books of the entire franchise of the Diary of the Book of the Kid. This is the first one. This one says Funny Best Selling Book, which I have. PG is a really amazing film. I enjoyed it when it was. I got it years ago. I forgot when I got it from school. Something. It's more than a movie, it's a survival guide. You can see the trees right here. So it's like, it's like a developed cheesy um, movie. Greg is a, a creative comic book drawings. It's amazing. And Roderick is the oldest kid. And then Maddie is the, the youngest. And two parents and a dog. They give them the dog in the second movie. So there you go. And of course, Riley is one of his good friends. You can see him right here. And then Peyton is in this one. She plays... Oh, Zachary Gordon is also in it. Robbie and Matt is in it. From the, the hit series of Jesse. So it's like Jesse and the Dairy Kid. I thought it was cute and fun. So that is it from the April of this year of 2024. So welcome to my letterbox video. So I'm gonna put all the movies that I have talked about down and see how much that cost. Next we got May, then June, and then July. We can talk about August another time. I said I see anything good on. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know down below and see what you think about these movies. Also, give me a thumbs up.
So those are the movies that we have from my lab box of April. So, I will let you know about those other months and we can go from there. So, you guys have a good rest of your day and weekend and I'll let I will come back and do another video for the the trailer, the three other books I'm about to show off. So have a good night and I'll see you later. Bye!